Bible. There we go. So the first word that I have to share was for my friend Gail, and her word was victorious. And the passage was Job 23, 10 through 12. But he knows the way that I take when he has tried me. I shall come out as gold. My foot has held fast to his steps. I have kept his way and have not turned aside. I have not departed from the commandment of his lips. I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my portion of food. And Gail shared a very sweet story. And um, when, when she told us what the word was that God had given her, and Gail, uh, part of it had to do with a road trip, and Gail also loves to ride her bike. And so this page just came together so perfectly uh, for me, and I loved being able to meditate on her word and, um, and the story that she had shared that it came from. Janet's word for 2017 was trust from Psalm 4-5. Excuse me, I was looking in the wrong place. Offer right sacrifices and put your trust in the Lord. And I just love these little mice uh, underneath the flower being sheltered from the rain. And isn't that what trust is like for each of us? As we trust in the Lord, we are sheltered from the storms of life. Sharon's word was, no fear, Psalm 27, actually the entire psalm, but I went with, uh, placed it, Psalm 27, 1, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is my, the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? And for Sharon, the thought is, no fear. Sandy's word for 2017 was treasure, and um, it was from Proverbs 2.1. My son, if you receive my words and treasure up my commandments with you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding. So she's treasuring up wisdom is what I came up with. And of course, as you listen to God, you gain wisdom as you study his word and meditate on what he has to say to you. So it was actually Proverbs 2, 1 and 2. Karen's word for 2017 was restoration. And the definition of restoration is the action of returning something to a former condition. And I just saw her, her house, meaning her life, um, being restored in many ways from the things that um, she has been through in, in a recent year or two. And so this was a precious page for me to do. Um, the birds um, represent her love of, of music and, and hymns. And um, so this was, this was meaningful to me as I worked for it and thought and prayed um, about and for Karen. Sunny's word for 2017 was something new. Isaiah 43:19. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And this was a message to me that God had given me. I am not too old for God to do a new thing in my life. And it fit Sunny's word as well. So it became a message for both of us. I missed marking one of them. Francine's word 
for 2017 was rest. Matthew 11:28, Come to me all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. So I just saw her resting in, in um, chairs and enjoying nature, and that's how this page came together. And I'm going to skip over my word, and you'll understand why in a little bit. Tammy's word for 2017 was abide. John 15, verse 4. Abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in, abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. And that, of course, was Christ speaking. And um, some of the definitions or um, synonyms for abide are continue, remain, survive, last, persist, stay. Pardon me, I have a puppy trying to chew on wires in my office. <laughs> That's not very helpful for a video. And I saw doors. Um, I, I wanted the doors there representing um, inviting Christ into our home and into our hearts. Brandilyn's word for 2017 was peace. And she... Um, and we have it in John 16, 33. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart, I have overcome the world. And the dove represents peace um, throughout the Bible. In Jesus we have peace. And then Trisha's word for 2017 uh, was actually three words, wide open spaces. And for her, that came from Romans 5, 2 through 5. Through him we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand. And we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given in us. And finally, I'll go back to what my word was for 2017, and it was ponder. And it came from Luke 2, 19. But Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And so working on everybody else's pages allowed me to ponder each of their words. And I didn't use their words in here. I used other things that uh, I am pondering. God's promises, life, faith, dreams, memories, family, friends. The gift of Jesus, love, compassion, beauty, the Bible. And so pondering their words, pondering these other words, it was a very rich, rich time. And I would encourage you, if you um, and your friends select words for the year, pray for God to give you those words for the year and what you are going to learn from them over the course of 12 months, I would encourage you to consider Bible art journaling them, and the time you spend uh, can be very, very precious. So thanks for joining me for this video, and I hope you enjoyed the flip through. Bye now.